Hello, welcome to the course of AWS Cloud Practitioner Essentials, Reference Architecture, Fault Tolerance and High Availability under the module AWS Architecting Essentials. The objectives of this lesson are to learn about fault tolerance and high availability, tools ensuring high availability and tools ensuring fault tolerance. So let's get started. Let's define fault tolerance and high availability first. Fault tolerance refers to the ability of a system to remain operational even if some of the components of that system fail. It can be seen as the built-in redundancy of an application's components. High availability is the concept regarding entire system. Its goal is to ensure that your systems are always functioning and accessible and that the downtime is minimized as much as possible without the need of human intervention. First, we will study about high availability. Ensuring high availability at on-premise data center can be very expensive and typically only insured on mission critical applications. On AWS, you can ensure high availability on multiple servers, multiple availability zones, and multiple regions along with fault tolerance. In the figure shown, you have to see what among the services we use are inherently highly available and which are highly available with the right architecture. Services like Amazon S3, Amazon SNS are inherently highly available, whereas other services like Amazon EC2 and VPC can be configured to be made highly available. So let's take a look deeper into how some specific services can assist in ensuring high availability. The tools ensuring high availability are Elastic Load Balancers, Elastic IP Address, Amazon Route 53, Auto Scaling, and Amazon CloudWatch. You have seen what services we use that are inherently highly available. So let's take a look deeper into how some specific services can assist in ensuring high availability. Starting with Elastic Load Balancer. It is an effective way to increase the availability of your system and distribute among incoming traffic to application across several EC2 instances. Elastic Load Balancer supports health checks on hosts distribution of traffic to EC2 instances across multiple availability zones and dynamic addition and removal of EC2 hosts from the load balancing rotation. Elastic load balancing detects your unhealthy instances within its pool of EC2 instances and automatically reroutes traffic to healthy instances until the unhealthy instances have been restored seamlessly using auto scaling. Elastic load balancers can be used to balance across instances in multiple availability zones of a region. Next is Elastic IP addresses. Now these are public static IP addresses that can be mapped programmatically between your instances within a region. It is designed for dynamic cloud computing. Elastic IP addresses can be used to work around host or availability zone failures by quickly remapping the address to another running instance or a replacement instance that was just started. It ensures high availability because users can still access your application even if your instances were to fail. Next is Amazon Route 53. It is a highly available and scalable DNS web service. It is used to translate domain name to IP addresses. Queries for the domain are automatically routed to the nearest DNS server and thus are answered with the best possible performance. It was developed to support simple outing, latency-based routing, health checks and geolocation routing and all of these characteristics increases the availability of your customer facing applications. Now next is auto scaling. It helps you to automatically scale EC2 capacity up or down based on the defined rules. Auto scaling also enables addition of more instances in response to an increasing load. And when those instances are no longer needed, they can be automatically terminated. Auto scaling enables terminating server instances at will, knowing that replacement instances will be automatically launched. Auto scaling can work across multiple availability zones within an AWS region. 
This ensures that your application will always be available no matter what the load is. Next is CloudWatch. It is a distributed statistics gathering system. It gathers and tracks your metrics of your applications. It has ability to create and use your own custom metrics. Another feature is that if there is a high latency or metrics that have been passed the set threshold, CloudWatch can adjust automatically to ensure high availability of your architecture. Now we will learn about the tools ensuring fault tolerance. Amazon Simple Queue Service, also called SQS, is highly distributed messaging system. Amazon SQS can help you ensure that your queue is always available. Next is Amazon Simple Storage Service, also called S3, and it provides high durability and fault tolerant data storage. It stores all your data redundantly on multiple different devices across multiple facilities in a region so that if there was ever a failure, you still have access to all of your information. Amazon Simple DB is fault tolerant and durable structured data storage solution. You have full advantage to scale service and can avoid single points of failure due to its natural design for high availability and fault tolerance. Amazon Relational Database Service or RDS is another tool to ensure fault tolerance. It provides high availability and fault tolerance by offering several features to enhance the reliability of your critical databases. Some of these features include, include automatic backups, snapshots, and multi-availability zone deployment. Thank you.